Google has just dropped the first developer preview of Android P and it brings a ton of new features and improvements. If you are interested in the Android newest version, here are 23 new features and changes that are coming with the Android P. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Number 1 is Redesigned Quick Settings Menu. One of the big cosmetic change that is coming with the Android P is to the uh, quick setting menu. Let us design focusing on the visibility and increase the functionality. This includes the ability for notification to show conversations, photos, stickers and smart replies like the Google's new reply app. Number second is inline images and smart replies in notification. Android P brings one of the most requested feature on the Android which is the ability to see past few messages in the notification to make it easier for user to get context of the conversation. Android P also supports inline images and stickers inside a notification and brings the smart reply feature natively to Android. Number 3 is uh, natively support for notches. Uh, Google know that 2018 is going to be the year of notches. That's why to help app developer uh, adapt to the notch trend, Google has included a new feature which allows developer to emulate notch on any Android device. Number 4 is Multi-Camera API. Android P will finally allow the developers to take benefit of multiple camera hardware present on the smartphone as it brings the new multi-camera API. A new API creates a fused camera stream that automatically switches between two or more lenses. This allows for seamless zoom, bokeh and stereo vision feature. Number 5 is redesigned setting page. Android P retains the same general settings design that Google introduced with the Oreo but adds colorful icons for each section. Within several menus like Wi-Fi, preferences have been rearranged and bring a round search bar at the top. Number 6 is the new native screenshot editing tool. The new tool which is called Markup allows users to edit screenshots using various markup tools including paint, freehand writing, text and more. Number 7 is Restriction to Camera and Microphone Access. With Android P, Google has introduced a new security feature which will disallow idle apps from accessing the smartphone sensor including microphone and camera. Number 8 is Power Menu now offers more functionality. With the Android P, Google is introducing two more toggles to the power menu on the top of the already existing restart and power off toggles. The other new addition is the enter lockdown toggle which when turn on or disable the biometric authentication and requires a user to enter his pin or password if she or he wants to unlock their devices. Number 9th is volume key get the software update. The new volume menu gives you access to easy shortcuts such as media control and the ability to mute the phone. The menu is not only useful, it also looks really nice. Number 10 is always on display and lock screen improvement. Uh, Android P is also bringing a few changes to the lock screen and always on display feature on Android. Now the pattern lock on the lock screen start fading as a user is tracing it. Also, the always on display will show battery status at the bottom which is very nice addition. Number 11 is text selection improvement. When you change the selected text, it will show a pop-up window which will show the highlighted text in a zoom window to help you select the text. Number 12 is easily switch between landscape and portrait orientation. In Android P, when you change the phone's orientation, a little toggle comes up which allow you to switch between the landscape and portrait orientation. Number 13 is uh, uh, connect up to 5 Bluetooth devices. With Android P, uh, Google has increased the number of devices to 5 which means that most of us will be able to connect all our uh, Bluetooth devices at once. Number 14 is uh, easily switch between different time zones. Now when you are switching between time zones, you can first select the country and then the city. Number 15 is Wi-Fi enhancements. First now it's very easier to mark your Wi-Fi connection as metered. A uh, metered connection means the OS will treat your Wi-Fi just as a mobile data. With Android P, the OS will now attach the different MAC addresses for different connections. 
Number 16 is new Android P Easter X. The new Easter egg is letter P surrounded by the colorful concentric circle which are animated flowing outward and inward. Number 17 is Android Runtime Improvement. Android P is also bringing improvement to ART or Android Runtime. The improvement will boost app performance and will result in decreased app startup time and DEX memory uses. Number 18 is HEIF and HDR VP9 format support. Android P is also bringing support to high efficiency image file format which is a better image format as it can hold twice the data of JPEG in almost the same file size. Google is also adding support for uh, HDR VP9 format which will allow developer to easily develop apps which can play HDR video content. Number 19 is changes to app info. The force stop button has been moved to three dots present at the top right of the page. Also information such as battery uses, data uses and more has now been hidden inside the new advanced menu. Number 20 is changes to do not disturb mode. Google has simplified the do not disturb mode with Android P as it has taken away from the option to choose between priority only, alarms only and total silent mode. 21 is improvement to neutral networking API and AI. With the Android P, Google is now expanding the API support for 9 new operations including these. 22nd is new autofill APIs. Google is adding a number of new APIs to autofill framework which will result in faster and better autofill in apps. Number 23 is Kotlin based apps get performance boost. Google is giving a performance boost to Kotlin based apps which will now be faster. Android P is not bringing many UI changes, there are a number of under the hood changes which has us excited. Now choose a name for the Android P and comment down below in the comment section and like this video, subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for latest update and I will see you in the next one.